So I want to say before we get started with this walkthrough that, um, well, we've been kind of quiet lately for the past few weeks. We haven't been really uploading uh, every day like I really intended on doing. That's just because Thomas and I have both been kind of busy. I've been dealing with vacation stuff and... Uh, Thomas was on vacation, he went on a graduation va uh, vacation, now he's, you know, working and doing stuff so that he can get some money for a PlayStation 4, so we're both trying to uh, really just optimize what we're doing before we actually start doing, if that makes any sense. Uh, but on another note, here we are guys, Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark, I just saw the movie, um, and you know, I, I think that this is going to be a pretty good game, depending on that. Uh, I've played the first two missions or so, and uh, it's actually a pretty fun game, it's a uh, little you know, off in the graphics department, but that's that's fine. Uh, but the game's a pretty solid game. It reminds me of uh, Transformers War for Cybertron. So I want to know if you guys want me to uh, play Transformers War for Cybertron because I have that on the PC and I really want to play it for you guys. And yeah, if not, no big deal. I'll just play it on my own. And, uh, you know, more game time for me, I guess. Um, but anyways, guys, I, don't, uh, I guess we shouldn't delay this any further. Here we go. Transformers Rise of the Dark Spark begins right now. Oh, a primitive infested with an indigenous population of organic life forms. Last refuge of Optimus Prime and the Autobots. You can't hide forever, Optimus. Gather your men. We're setting down at the impact point. Locked out, sir. What was that? It is the past come calling. Drift, do you read? Optimus! What is this insanity? What is the meaning of this attack? I do not know, but we are encountering heavy resistance. You must hurry. Not a problem. At Drift, you'll need to secure additional firepower. Alright, so we got our basic controls. The, the game, when it starts off each level, really isn't that optimized well. Such crude weapons are plentiful, it seems. Get that weapons locker open already. Yeah, we're already behind schedule for the rendezvous. Oh, time for a slash! Sayonara! I just say, Drift is actually a pretty cool uh, transformer to play as uh, for Square to interact and... Now we're going to be grabbing ourselves a gun. Um, we got some, oh, upgrades and stuff. Like I said, I've been playing for a little bit. Um, I'm just going to click one of the random ones, increase the amount of reserve ammo, accuracy. Let's just go accuracy. I already have that one upgraded. Okay. The clip should be fine. Um, ooh, new upgrade available. I'm just going to do this real fast, guys. I'm sorry. Just pick a random one. Um, and we're just going to grab your standard, uh, yeah, let's just grab the Neuron Assault Rifle. Um... And also grab a heavy weapon. So we're just gonna go with the thermo rocket cannon. That seems fine to me. Alright, so um like I said, I've played this for a little bit. Fire weapon R2 and all that crazy stuff. I know you favor the sword now, but the gravity of the situation requires more advanced weaponry. So be it. Like I said, the game controls exactly like the uh, War for Cybertron or the Cybertron franchise, and you know it's it's a it's a solid game. Uh, it's just that each level uh, when it starts up, it you know it starts up really laggy. Like um, it should have spent a little bit more time. Um, well, like I said, they should have spent a little bit more time uh, in in the loading or whatnot. Forces are numerous. And heavily armed. This does not bode well. Yet we must thwart their designs. Agreed. It is every Autobot's duty to stand against tyranny. The riverbed will lead you to the traffic tunnels. We will meet you on the other side. Now I do have to say that when I first started this game, I was really concerned that it was gonna be a movie game. Um and luckily, you know, luckily it's not, so. Oh, that's not even... Oh, you know what? That is correct, isn't it? Huh. That's weird thinking about it, um, because in the movie... I don't want to spoil anything, um, I just want to say Drift's in the movie, and it doesn't seem like that's his transformation in the movie, um. But I guess, I think he has two, so I don't know. Uh, but anyways, yeah, um, like I said, though, this, this didn't seem like it was going to, uh... Like, it was going to be a game on its own, and 
you know, in some in some parts, it's obviously not like this. It's kind of bringing in the characters from the movie and whatnot, and really uh, immersing uh, or immersed. Whoa, whoa, okay, immersing you in their situation, and then they bring you back to Cybertron later on, which is uh, pretty fun. All right, you know what? There's a challenge here where you can only use your blade, so I'm gonna try that. I'm probably not gonna succeed in that endeavor, though. But for the time being, oh, my shield's gonna go down. Oh, my shield's down. My shield's down. Oh no. Okay, I gotta fight this guy over here. You know what? Let's just blow up that fuel tanker. All right, destroying four fuel tankers. I am one of four. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh, I know you're injured and everything, but I'm just gonna add insult to injury by destroying your your body. Um, I don't know. Um. Who are they? They seem to be Cybertronian mercenaries. If they are here, lockdown is likely behind this attack. Mercenaries? A profession without honor. What profit is there in attacking humans? I do not know, but I intend to find out. I gotta say, even on the easiest difficulty, this game's actually pretty difficult. Like, you're guaranteed to die if you don't know what you're doing. And uh, that's actually, like, a very admirable thing that they um, do in this, because, like I said, in the first level or so, it feels like it's going to be a movie game until you get to Cybertron, because um, it, it goes through a little, uh, um, kind of like a, a recap thing, uh, where they look back, in a flashback, that's what I'm looking for, that's what I'm looking for, it goes into kind of a flashback situation, and you guys could obviously tell, I mean, they were advertising this, if you guys didn't know, then I'm sorry that I'm spoiling, like, the next level for you guys, but... I'm not spoiling any story, I'm just letting you guys know that it's going to be on Cybertron as well, so it'll be a little bit like the uh, um, War for Cybertron and Fall for Cybertron games, which, like I said, are awesome in their own uh, in their own way. They're actually pretty awesome. I really enjoyed those games. Um, oh, gosh. It's so weird seeing Drift transform like this. I don't want to spoil anything from the movie. It's just like his, his transformation seems a little bit different. I'm just remembering one scene, and that's about it. Huh. All right, pushing away that uh, subway car. There are numerous mercenaries stationed outside the subway station. Thank you for the warning. It looks like using it as a staging area. And I will reduce their numbers before I reach you. Oh, they were, that was kind of weird that they had that loading in between. They got hacks that I have and whatnot. I don't think I'm going to activate them. I got tech, which I could probably use, but I don't think I should either. Um, I guess I guess I could go into that and. Uh, Basically, it just kind of reloads your ammo for you, and here we go into a big old firefight situation. If I could sneak up on these guys, that'd be fantastic. Get a subsonic repeater. Um, I guess the Neuron Assault Rifle is just as good. Oh, press R1 to perform a blade dash. Okay, I could probably try that. I haven't done that. Oh, sayonara! What you Oh, he wasn't expecting that at all. All right. I gotta get out of here. I know I'm about to be ambushed and probably killed. Um, I don't know. This game likes to punish you a lot for your, like... Uh, I don't know. Reluct I guess I want to say reluctance to use cover because there's not really a stealth system. You can't really be sneaky throughout this game because the second you kill somebody or, you know, they uh, um, kind of automatically uh, swarm on you and it gets pretty difficult. But, you know, whatever. No big deal. It's actually, this this game's kind of a nice uh, change of pace because I'm, you know, I haven't really done a lot of games like this and I actually did one, uh, when Fall of Cybertron came out, I put a video up on uh, Gaming Invasions way back in the day when I had that channel and uh, I think, I think it was copyrighted or something. There was uh, like a matching of third party content or something like odd or, I don't know. I'd have to check again. I actually want to check because... It was a, I think it was a multiplayer video, and it was back when uh, uh, Christian and I, my friend Christian and I, were both doing the channel together. 
And then I kind of went solo, and then I invited Samus to be part of this channel, and he's actually finally... Uh, he's been working on his uh, Dark Souls walkthrough for a long time. He's been researching everything. That's why he's only at part three right now. Um, so I, I, I encourage you guys to look that that up. I don't know. I just think that guy needs to die. We got rocket troopers over... Oh! Oh, okay. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, gosh. Sometimes I swear, playing these games, I feel like... Uh, my coordination's very high because, like, they have you moving your uh, fingers in all sorts of directions that you wouldn't really think you'd be moving your fingers in, or, you know, just the fact that you have to move your hands so quickly while looking at a TV screen. It really brings up your hand eye coordination, even though, you know, it could put you into glasses and whatnot. Lockdown's like, forces are headed for the crater. We see them. We are nearly at your position. So you thought you could mess with me. And that was your first mistake. I had to say, like, um, as far as the multiplayer goes, I wish they had took the, uh, the fall for Cybertron approach. Instead of doing just a, uh, a horde mode, um, I figured I'd just review the game a little bit while I play. Um. But like I was saying, I, uh, I kind of wish they added, um, instead of just a horde mode, they had a player versus player mode and... I don't know, that the game was just a little bit, like, more graphically optimized. Um, not that I'm complaining a lot. The game's really fun. Um, even for, you know, it feeling like a movie game half the time, or half the time during this level, at least. But, uh... Like I said, it's a solid game. It's a solid game of its own. It's, it's, it's kind of in its own universe. It combines the two uh, universes quite well. And Lockdown Ship is gonna blow us up. Oh, no. <laughs> Didn't he just say in the cutscene before that Optimus was his target? I don't know. All right. Like I said, Thomas was working. I don't know. I I kind of strayed away from that. Uh, Thomas spent a lot of time working on his. Uh, oh, Bumblebee looks sick. Uh, yeah, no, Thomas has been working a long time on his walkthrough. He's been putting a lot of info into it, and he's trying to get it the best for you guys, so if you guys want to check that out. Loading screen. Oh, no. There, in the center. It looks Cybertronian. By the all spark. It cannot be. What? Is that the Matrix of Leadership? Yes, Drift. And it has shown me the awful nature of this fallen Autobots, lockdown is not here for us. He seeks to gain possession of the Dark Spark. We must not let it fall into his hands. What is this Dark Spark? A weapon? Something far worse. All right, so we gotta we gotta go stop these. Another one down! You think you could take me out? You can't. I kind of wish I could play as Optimus right now. Optimus seems to always be the, uh, the go-to, uh, guy to play as, I guess. Oh! Oh! Come on! Come on! Alright, the aiming's kind of difficult in this. Oh, we got a, a gearbox. These gearboxes, uh, unlock stuff for, uh, single-player and multiplayer. Like, they unlock characters for multiplayer and stuff that you can do. Let me show you guys real quick, like, a gearbox. We got a bronze one right here. Um, let's see what they unlock for us. Oh, we got Zeta Prime. Sweet. Uh, corrosive slime cannon. Ammo supply core. Uh, weapon upgrades. And basically that's what it does. It gives you characters for, uh, the multiplayer. And I kind of wish, like, uh, I keep going off, like, off and on on my tangent for that stuff. Um, I was talking about my multiplayer and then I brought up Thomas again. Uh, but what I was trying to say about the multiplayer is, like, um, I kind of wish they made it to where you can create your own character or whatnot. And, uh... You know, this one's all, uh, basically a horde mode, uh, like, firefight if you guys have played, a uh, um, uh, Halo game. Which, I might get an Xbox 360 again, just to, or an Xbox One or 360 or whatever, which one of that it is. Just to get the, that amazing Halo bundle that's coming out, because it's like six Halo games in, uh, <laughs> in one. 
And I know, I don't know, I'm, uh, I know I'm not talking much about the game, but like, really right now, there's not enough story to really talk about anything. It's really just, oh, I'm gonna shoot this guy, you can't shoot me. I mean, later on, I guarantee I'll go talking about the game. I should probably get into this area. Let's see. Auto locks, ineffectual as ever. Hand over the dark spark lockdown. And what price will you pay for it, Optimus? This is not a device to haggle over. It is unbelievably dangerous. You are meddling with powers you cannot comprehend. Do the right thing, Lockdown, and simply hand it over. How honorable you truly are a prime. Alas, I see no profit in merely giving you my prize. I decline. <laughs> Can't you see? I have already won! You just don't know it yet! Coward! Come back! thought this day would never come. What's going on, Optimus? We have just witnessed a dark legend come to life. The Matrix of Leadership, formed from Primus himself, grants the bearer the wisdom of the Primes. But for every force in the universe, there is an equal and an opposite. For every matter, an antimatter. Legends speak of the Dark Spark, the antithesis to the Matrix of Leadership. Where the Matrix grants wisdom, the Dark Spark empowers its master to bend the very fabric of the universe and its inhabitants to his will. This is our darkest hour. Cybertron has nearly fallen, and the Autobots are on the verge of defeat. This is our finest hour. Cybertron is nearly ours, and victory is finally within the Decepticon's grasp. I do not believe Starscream. I hypothesize. My conclusion is not yet formed, but all data leads us here. Ah, yes. Ever the scientist. As you once were. Almost a human element. Don't you feel it? For once we agree, Soundwave. All right, so no, we're all laggy right here. They can throw us right in the, the action as sound wave. But I want to say thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Look forward to part two, and I want to say right before I uh, sign off, I'm sorry that, you know, for the long, super long delay and everything, I just, uh, we were both busy, and uh, hopefully we can change that now, and pretty soon we'll be able to be doing uh, a bunch of stuff, uh, stuff together as the uh, Destiny beta comes out. On the 17th, it's the first right now of this recording, uh, but, you know, not that it really matters. I'm probably going to uh, upload it the same day or, you know, maybe tomorrow or something. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you for being the awesome audience. You guys have always been, um, you know, look forward to more Star Wars, The, uh, the Old Republic coming out. It's actually uh, double XP uh, for a couple of days, and I'm going to be doing some uh, stuff there. So, uh, you know, make sure to check that stuff out because I'll be doing a lot of recording as that... Um, I don't know why I'm dragging this out. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for being awesome, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.